Hi everyone, thank you for, so much for joining us for today's webinar. My name is Donna Chow and I'm your host and your moderator for today's eLotus webinar. Here at eLotus, we have been hosting educational courses for over two decades and we are proud to be your trusted source for premium CU course content with over 200 speakers, 700 courses, and 3,000 hours of continuing education. Today's webinar is Palmistry Fingerprint Patterns patterns presented by Rick Bernard. Before we begin, I'd like to go over a few items to familiarize you with our webinars and how they work. Today's webinar will be from 11 to 12 p.m. That's one hour and this is Rick's fourth palmistry course at eLotus. To learn the basics, watch the first three introductory classes which are available at eLotus.org and they are all CEU approved. Even better, I do recommend the Goal Pass membership, which allows you to see all his past and future webinars for free, as well as receive unlimited CEUs and free herbs. For lecture notes, download them directly from the Blue Course Access page from your eLotus account. And to use the webinar chat room, set your chat preference to everyone so everyone can be part of the conversation and see what you're typing. To ask Rick a question, please do so in the Q&A box. But just to give you guys a heads up, this class is only one hour long. So uh, we'll try to get as much questions in as possible, but Rick has a lot to share with you guys today. And finally, the quiz and the video replay. You will be notified by email once they are ready and they will be ready tomorrow. I'll send you that email. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get started with today's webinar and welcome Rick Bernard, who has studied palmistry for over 20 years with his mentor, Richard Unger. And today he will share his interpretation of what he has learned in hopes that it inspires us to study more about this branch of medicine to better support our patients and clients. All right, Rick, go ahead and take over and share your PowerPoint. Eric, your mic is still mute. There we go. Can you hear me? Yep. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for, for your patience, and thank you for joining me today. For those of you that were signed up for my last class, I apologize for missing that. I, I, my schedule has been crazy, and I had it starting a new career, and et cetera. So I am going to make it up later. Um, I think the beginning of next year. So we'll get to the, the um, uh, it's going to be on uh, hand shapes, advanced hand shapes, and we'll get to that later. So, so don't worry. Um, so we're going to be um, taking a little bit of a, a left turn here um, and going to show you something completely new. And it's a, a, an aspect of, of hand reading that's not really taught uh, hardly at all. There are some cultures that do um, fingerprint analysis. In India, they do it. Sometimes they'll only do one finger. They'll do the thumb, and they'll tell you all about your life and what you're supposed to be doing in your life and, and what to expect. A little bit different. Um, the system I learned, again, was from Richard Unger. Um, it's an amazing system. It really, um, well, let me just talk about, there's there's a couple of different psychologies. Uh, wait. Get the next screen. There we go. So there's there's basically two psychologies in the hand. We've we've been spending most of our time on personality, learning personality traits, behavioral uh, inclinations, all about the shapes of the hand, the lines of the hand. So, um, so this is going to be completely different. This is uh, what my teacher uh, calls soul psychology. So when I first learned about it, in my first class, I was kind of taken back, and I wasn't really as open to it as I am now, uh, because it's more about what you came into this life with. We didn't come in, possibly didn't come into this life on, on a clean slate. We actually came in with an agenda. We came in with things to learn. We came in with things that that made our life, that gave our life meaning, a certain activity that gives our life really um, a sense of purpose. Um, and that is revealed in our fingerprint patterns, which we get five months prior to birth. And so we call it the soul psychology, and it's um, it's a little bit of a stretch for some people. Um, 
but I want to introduce it to you. I'm going to show you very basically how to do it today. There's a book that I would recommend that Richard wrote on specifically on this. It's called Life Prints, and I'll have a picture of it uh, later on one of my slides. And it's all about learning your life purpose, your life lesson, and something called your school. And we'll talk um, in depth of, about each of these. But it's a kind of a blueprint, a blueprint for your life. It's a, it's a where you're really going to kind of learn a life fulfillment blueprint today. It's how to determine what you're here for, what your meaning is, what gives you the greatest satisfaction and fulfillment in life, what where you really should be spending your time uh, doing, and also what your your um, blind spot is, what your uh, challenge is, what are your areas that you're not so good at that really need development. Uh, we called your life lesson and, and your school is going to be part of that. So there's really three things that we're going to be studying. Um, so again, we've been spending most of our time uh, with personality psychology, uh, which is revealed by the lines and the shapes in our hand. That's all dynamic. That can all change. As our thought process changes, lines can change, change direction. They can get breaks in them. Uh, you can create new lines. Uh, lines that were there can actually start to disappear as we start to clear up issues in our life. But it gives us gives us really a, a overall um, feel of a person's personality, their strengths, weaknesses, uh, challenges, what their need system is, uh, what their needs are in life, um, how we think, feel, and react. Okay. So with this aspect, this, this again, this is the soul or soul agenda. Uh, we're going to learn three things, and this is going to be, I think, more for your personal um, enrichment. Um, some clients, uh, patients might be open to this, but I, you know, you want to be a little bit cautious with it because some person, a lot of people, it's going to be, it's going to be too esoteric, a little too woo woo. So um, you want to take care in who you do it with. If I was a life coach, perhaps, um, and I got more into counseling for somebody's personal issues, then something this is something that would be really, really effective. Um, but think of it really now as for personal, your personal enrichment and um, and just try to stay with me on this because some of it's going to be kind of like, wow, what? How did he develop this? Um, and these, again, these are the three, three things we're going to work on, life purpose, life lesson, and our school. Okay, so dramatic lithics is, is, a, is a science of reading the, our fingerprints. And it's a it's a scientific study, and actually they've probably done more research, scientific research on on uh, fingerprint patterns than any other part of palmistry. But everything I've taught you so far, uh, all the personality stuff, has actually been researched by in neuroscience. <clears throat> um, how the shapes of our hand and the size of our fingers and everything actually is reflected in our personality and behavioral traits. <clears throat> this is this is actually a science now. And so um, I'm actually a very pragmatic person. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm really kind of science-based person. I really kind of have to experience it to really believe it and see it over and over again and where it's repeatable. And in this case, in dramatic lyrics, I've seen that. It took me a while to really come to the study of this and really accept it and really go with it. I was more interested in my private practice when I started this private practice of actually just learning more personality behavioral traits of my patients and what kind of issues they were they were dealing with. This is a little bit deeper, a little bit heavier for sure. <clears throat> so this was coined by um, uh, dramatic lipids was coined by by Harold Cummins, who was a hand reader in the 20s. And dermato, dermato means skin and glyphics means car, simply means carvings. So a lot of the studies they've done with dramatic glyphics are have to do with more um, physical stuff. Well, actually, um, emotional stuff as well. In fact, we're going to study different fingerprint patterns. We're going to study four, four main fingerprint patterns. And there's something called arches that we'll study. And arches, they found people that have arch fingerprints have test really high on anxiety um, studies. So, um, and that's going to really line up with what I'm, what we're going to teach here today. Um, again, there's um, our fingerprint patterns are in place of five months prior to birth. That's when our actually fingerprints actually form in utero. And I'm going to say I'm going to make the statement. This is a map that tells you where you are and how you're going to get to where you want to go. And this is really what this is all about. It's a it's a 
it's a genetic imprint that kind of gives us a blueprint for our lives. And it gives, tells us really, again, again, what we're really here for. It gives more of a meaning to your life. Okay. Try to hang with me on this one because it is a little bit, a little bit more esoteric than the stuff we've been learning. But when you talk about hands to anybody, you have to be careful who you talk to. Well, my brother, I don't even tell him I do these classes because he would just think I'm totally out there. Even that when, the fact that I started acupuncture, he thought I was, I was uh, a little bit loony. So you do have to be a little bit careful who you talk to uh, about this type of information. Some people are a little bit more open-minded than others. Okay, so. Um, palmistry and dramatic lyrics, they both, they both are a way of looking at the outside of our body to tell what's going on in our inner, inner selves, our inner reality. So one is based on scientific method, and that's dramatic lyrics. And I would say actually now both are. Before it was just more folklore. Um, you know, everybody thinks of hand reading as, as gypsy palm, you know, palmistry and predictive fortune telling. Um, but that's not really how it was really studied and started. It was really more issue oriented, uh, knowing a person's personality, learning what kind of skills they have, uh, behavioral traits that they have. Okay, and it's based on that literally thousands of years of anecdotal evidence. So this is talk a little bit about fingerprint patterns, which are really interesting. Fingerprint patterns, um, that type of a pattern with, with ridges, actually show up in nature and they show up on sand dunes because sand dunes the sand it has actually has ridges excuse me as does the beach the beach when the when the water hits the, uh, the sand and recedes it leaves an imprint very 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 similar to to fingerprint patterns and um so you could actually make the comparison that there's a wave it has been a wave energy imprint something has left its imprint on a denser medium and that's what we think has happened with our fingerprint patterns, that we were, were imprinted uh, five months prior to birth. And, and it's hard to say uh, for a fact what caused that imprint, uh, whether it was uh, DNA, uh, just purely genetic, um, uh, if it's a legacy from our ancestors. Now, what's interesting is, is if you think about it, we inherit physical traits. Why would we not? carry on emotional stuff that, that our ancestors had. It makes sense that, that that would carry over as well. And that's kind of what this is based on a bit. It's, a, it's kind of an ancestral uh, influence that's caused these specific fingerprint patterns to form on certain fingers in our hand. Okay, we'll try to think of it that way. <clears throat> 